It's the NFL on EA Sports, and there's no love lost between these NFC South foes. It's going to be a good one coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to North Carolina and the bustling city of Charlotte. As we welcome you inside Bank of America Stadium, the home of the Panthers. So good to have you with us. Mike Tirico, Greg Olson, we are about set for kickoff. Greg, talking to coaches all week. We're so curious to see what's going to play out here at the start of this one. And ideally, I think each of these teams is thinking, okay, we think this is how the game's going to unfold. This is our plan. This is how we're going to go attack. And if that's the case, great. But very rarely does that happen, Mike. So it's really the team that makes the best adjustments in real time, in between possessions, in between snaps. The team that adjusts the fastest and the most efficiently, they're the ones that come the end of the game. They tend to have the advantage. The kicker, Chase McLaughlin, will get this one started. And off we go from Charlotte. This one taken at the seven. And this will work out quite well. He'll get it all the way out to the 30-yard line. Following the kickoff, we have an injured player on the field. Not something you want to see in the opening minute of the game. Here's first and ten. They'll run here. The former Canadian track star, Chuba Hubbard, will take it. And he'll get about five. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. Out of a shotgun. Young. And this is something the defense knew they had to contain coming in today, Mike. They worked all week on containing this quarterback. But here we are, early on in the game, a nice scramble there, good yardage, and he's able to pick up the first down. Tremble comes in motion. Young fires quick. That's Thielen. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. We hear the term RPO so often, Mike, and it continues to kind of trickle its way into the NFL. But remember, it's a lot different in the NFL than it is in the college game where it's a lot more prevalent. The lineman cannot go downfield. So that quarterback has to make a lot of really fast snapshot decisions or else it's going to lead to a penalty or him holding on to the ball too long. So... It's something that teams want to implement, but maybe not quite to the level that we see in the college game. Here's third and two. They'll try to run for it with Hubbard. That's a heck of a stop by this defense early in this game, Mike, and it sets up a decision for the offense. You might be a little too far away to attempt a realistic field goal, but you might be a little too close to get anything out of the punt unit. I think I'm keeping the offense on. I'm trying to extend this drive, and I'm being aggressive here early. On fourth down, the longtime special teams ace, Johnny Hecker, on to punt. Back deep for the Bucks, their speedster, Trey Palmer. And this is as good as you can possibly get. It's out of bounds, and it's marked right at the one-yard line. Well done. The Buccaneers led out by their quarterback, Baker Mayfield. He was in Cleveland, Carolina, then with the Rams. Now year two, and it feels like he's found a home. Greg here with the Buccaneers. The coaches spend all week, Mike, drafting up their opening script. These are the plays that they feel the best with to not only attack the defense early, but try to get an idea of what sort of matchups they're going to see throughout the course of the game. Now, 
All of that is thrown out the window. None of the plates take into account snapping it this close to your own goal. They've got to try to get themselves some breathing room, pick up a first down or two, and all allow them to get back on track, executing the rest of that opening script. A gain there of 27 yards. I think this is something that we can expect to see here, especially early, Mike, as this team gets into a rhythm. They want to lean on this run game. They feel like they have a lot of advantages over this defense, and you can see from the first play here why they feel that way. Tight end going in motion here. On first down, right back to White. Nice job finding the seam. Gain of about nine. Just a yard short of that first down. Second and a yard. From the gun, it's Mayfield. He'll find his running back, White. He's taken down, but just shy of midfield. I think they're going to have to be more creative here on the back end with the types of coverages they show this quarterback change the look pre-snap to post-snap mix in zone mix in man they got to make it more challenging on the quarterback going forward baker gonna hand it to white they'll take this forward maybe two three yards but doesn't matter we have a flag down and they're already marching backward they get the center graham barton send a tight end in motion right out of the shotgun Mayfield this pass is caught by Keith Otten and that'll help a bit they're still well short of the sticks a solid pickup on that first down play how fast things can flip you find yourself in first in a mile after taking a penalty on first down but that chunk play there in the passing game now gets them back in sequence with the chains and brings up a more manageable second down. Now, whistles here. Looks like one of the defenders got a head start. Second down throw from Mayfield. The ball deflected at least a couple of times. And it'll fall to the ground. It's incomplete. Now a third and two. He'll try to run for it. Here's one. Fourth down, Trenton Gill will punch it away. Raheem Blackshear is set to return for the Panthers. And no chance of a run back here. This one's going to sail out of bounds. The Panthers offense ready to get going with their second possession. They'll search for the first points of this game as they begin the drive on first and ten. the ground it's the rookie from UT and we'll knock him down just shy of the 40. this offense has to be thrilled Mike with the success they've had here on the ground in this opening quarter now as the rest of the game unfolds everything in the game plan continues to open up so from the 39 they come up on first and 10. from the gun it's young 
That one pinballs around, but it is incomplete. The pass intended for Xavier Leggett. It's second down. Pistol snap to Young. There's a short one caught by Sanders. Great timing and anticipation. The second the tight end's head turned around, the quarterback put the ball on him, and now it's, hey, let's see who wants to tackle this big guy and bring him to the ground. Here's a third down and four. They'll motion over Thielen. From the gun here on third down, it's Young. He's got his tight end, that's Sanders. It's a pickup of 12. It's good for a Panther first down. These third down conversions are just so important. Like everybody stresses, we want to possess the ball, give our offense as much opportunity to end as many drives as we can, scoring points. So if you want to stay on the field, you better be good on third down. The motion man is Sanders. On first and ten, here's Young. Back into the hands of Hubbard. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. And what really stands out about this drive is the ability of the quarterback to really spread the ball around to multiple targets. It puts so much pressure on the defense, deciding who do they want to account for because no matter who they try to take away, quarterback's doing a nice job of finding the open man. Young to throw on first down. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. Everyone always assumes that you only want to run drag routes or crossing routes, just underneath, like, mesh concepts against man coverage. But... So often, they're equally as effective against the zone. All it takes is one of those underneath man defenders to latch on to the wrong route, and all of a sudden, there is a lot of room, not only for the completion, but for yards after the catch. Now, after the run, we get a stoppage for an injured player. And as the medical staff looks him over, we'll step aside. Look him up on a second down and eight. They'll go again with Hubbard. And not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. All the qualities that make a good safety are seen on display on this play. Speed, pursuit, and then the intensity and the strength at the point of contact for the tackle to keep this ball carrier to no gain. That is a complete safety play. Taking off, he'll try to get there. And he will have a first down spot. I don't think that's going to stand. They're already heading backwards. The task now, a really tough one. Third and very long. Young. Complete. I think he predetermined that third down throw, and even though the coverage was tight, he still tried to fit the ball in there anyway, and it ended up falling incomplete. I think if he goes through his progressions and has a little bit more trust in his protection, I think there's an easier throw to make out there. Pinero's kick is good, and the Panthers are out to an early. 3-0 lead. And I think this is going to end up being considered a successful drive, Mike. I think, obviously, you would have loved to see them come down and convert and score a touchdown. But at the very least, they needed to come away with three. They were able to do that and take a lead on that field goal.
So after the field goal to open up the scoring, the kicker is back out for this kickoff. Now it's Bucky Irving to return. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The Buccaneers offense ready for their second possession. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides. As this drive kicks off with first and ten. They go play action with Mayfield. That's caught. Three Palmer. They'll gain 17 on that one. A very quick first down. Throwing with anticipation, it not only requires the confidence in both your accuracy and the timing, but it also forces the receiver to be on time and where the quarterback expects you to be. And this is one of those examples, man. When those two things are on point, it results in a first down. And they get this one across midfield to the 47-yard line. The goal of every offense, Mike, is to find a way to establish a balance between the run and the pass. With some success here early on the ground, we'll open up things as the game unfolds for the quarterback in this passing game. They'll go again with White. And they're going to get him down this time. Not as easy as the last carry. This time they drop him behind the line of scrimmage. Second down. This play here, Mike, is just all about the get-off of the defensive line. Watch how fast they go when that ball is snapped. Nowhere for this running back except to go down for a loss. Throwing on second down, Mayfield. Back to the rookie, third-rounder Jalen McMillan. I think the defender thought he had himself a pick here, Mike. He saw that curl coming the entire way, but unfortunately for him, it was a curl and go. They took him deep. Leads to a huge pickup. Third and a yard. They'll put a receiver in motion right. From the gun on third down, it's Mayfield. And he'll be taken down. They got it. Back at the 50-yard line. That big boy was moving, Mike. That was impressive. I mean, it's not easy to bring down this quarterback in any situation. But to hawk him down from his interior defensive line spot, nearly out by the sideline, that's beyond impressive. Here's Trenton Gill now. And he'll be looking for something better after that poor first punt. And we will not have a return here. This one angled out of bounds. <laughs> Operating from their own 23, they'll begin first and 10. Here's Young to throw. That's over the middle and intercepted. Picked off by Levante David. I know it doesn't seem like a ton of yards on top of that pick, but that was really well done. I mean, it's just going to make life so much easier now as the offense takes the field trying to capitalize off of that turnover. Muscle over there on the left side for this first and ten. Off the play fit, it's Mayfield. That is brought in at the ten. And he's taken down on what should be the final play of this first quarter. So just a lone field goal in the first quarter of play. The Panthers off to the early advantage. And will return to Charlotte in a moment.
Ball resting on the nine. First down and goal. To throw is Mayfield. He connects with Palmer on that one. And he'll get this down to the three, but no further. It'll be second and goal. The receiver thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage, and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. But the defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. And now movement up front. This crowd is making it tough down deep in the red zone. From a little further back, here's second and goal. Throwing is Mayfield. This one caught the four. And he's close to the goal line, but they're going to mark him short. Put him down at the one. So they have these rules for the receivers, Mike. They call them green grass rules. And the idea is if you're running across the field and you're looking at the quarterback, you're going to stay on the run. If you're not looking at the quarterback, that tells him, I'm going to sit in this soft zone. I'm going to, what they call, punch and pivot and stop. And that tells the quarterback to put the ball on your chest. That nonverbal communication between the receiver and the quarterback, recognizing when you're open, stay open, that's the stuff that makes a lot of these offenses so difficult to defend. So instead of going for the first down, in comes the field goal unit. Bit of a surprise here. This, about as short as you can get. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Bucks will tie the game at three apiece. You know, I think it's safe to say here, Mike, as this offense leaves the field, they wanted to stay out there and go for it. But I think in this case, the coach is playing the long game. He understands that these three points now can end up being very valuable as this game moves along. So the field goal ties things up, and we're back at it as this kicks away. Raheem Blackshear on the return. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. Here's the Carolina offense now as they head out to take over for their next possession. They'll set out in search of a first touchdown in this game. Just a pair of field goals to show. It's 3-3 as they start first and 10. They'll motion over Thielen. Young to throw on first and ten. Over the sideline. Thielen there to pull it in. Here's a second and nine. Young hands it to Hubbard. That lane closes quickly. A pickup of three. Levante David doing his work on defense. Here's third and seven. Now Young. And this drive is over before it can start. He's swallowed up to force fourth down. Sometimes, Mike, your greatest strength can also be a little bit of your weakness. In this case, he is so used to being able to buy more time with his feet, extend the play, give his targets more time downfield to uncover. In this case, nothing materializes, tried to do too much, and as a result, takes a big loss. Here's Johnny Hecker now, as he's on to punt for the second time. And 
and he'll get forward a few yards on the return. And that's where the offense will take over. The Buccaneers offense and running back Rashad White ready for this next possession. They'll work in a tie game here in the second quarter and get started with first and ten. second and four. They'll run over center with White. And he's bottled up after a gain of a yard. They'll come up to third and three. Third down, it's White. On comes the punter now, as he is on to punt for Tampa Bay. Turn forthcoming. It's a touchback and will come out to the 20 yard line. The Panthers' offense getting those helmets back on, ready to head out for their next possession. They'll try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and 10. Out of the shotgun, Young. For the middle, that's caught by Moore. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second and inches. A run with Hubbard. It'll be stacked up the line of scrimmage no gain on the play that's a heck of a stop there defensively mike second and in inches you're thinking the first down is pretty much a formality but not for this defense they pack it in tight they sell out on the run and they're going to force this team to snap it again on third down on third down here's hubbard and it looks like he's going to have that first down he will not by a whole lot, but he's got it enough. And they convert on third down. Another run here with Hubbard. And he's going to be stopped in his tracks. He'll lose a couple of yards on that one. You have to wonder if next time does the play caller give his quarterback some options to check out of this play. It was clear before the ball was snapped. This was not a great look for that play call, and you can see the end result. Last play went the wrong way. It sets up second and long. It's second down and 12. Now Young. He'll let this one go deep down the right sideline. zone through the air Greg that is one of the most popular plays because it works so often you're right Mike we see it all the time it's a four vertical concept but the key is you've got to stretch the defense and put pressure on the secondary that's exactly what they were able to do here they take advantage and they go deep for six go, go, go. 
On now, Eddie Pinheiro for the extra point. He's got it. Panthers take a 10-3 lead. So now, after the touchdown, Pinheiro out to kick it away. On the return is Sean Tucker. And they'll be set up well as he is past the 35-yard line. Here's the Tampa Bay offense. They're going to take over once more. Just the lone field goal for them so far. Down 10-3 in this one. And they'll start first and 10. start this on the ground and here's white and he'll get about six there setting up second down from the gun it's Mayfield is tight end Otten. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. Well, we'll give a little credit here defensively. Even though they allow the first down, we've seen defenses really struggle bringing this big tight end to the ground. And they didn't allow him to pick up a bunch of yards after contact, but he was able to get just enough to pick up the first down. On the ground, it's White. And this will be a short pickup down to the 45. Jordan Fuller in that time for the stop. They face second down and seven. Another run here with White. That one never got started. Too much defensive pressure. They dropped him in the backfield. These are the impact plays that this linebacker is capable of, Mike. Not only dissecting and determining where the ball was going, but then to shoot through the line of scrimmage and make this tackle for a loss. That's a big-time play by a really good player. Out of the shot, Mayfield. He's got a run out of time. They get to him and bring him down. The defensive coaches, they preach all week, Mike. They have to have relentless pursuit of this quarterback when he tries to extend the play. So often, it results in a great play for the offense and a big pickup. This time, because of that pursuit, it leads to a big loss. Here's their punter now, as he'll punch it away for the fourth time today. Blackshear to return, and he's going to be brought down after a short return. And that's where his team will get possession of the football. The Panthers offense and Xavier Leggett. Headed back onto the field. They lead by a touchdown as this drive begins with first and ten. Three tight ends in the game to start the drive. Get this drive started on the ground. It's Hubbard. He'll work his way ahead for a gain of about four. Here's a second and six.
Moore going in motion. Throwing on second down, Young. And the whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. Two minutes to go here till halftime. Back with more from Charlotte. After this, from the 34 now, it's first and 10. From the gun, it's Young. Back to the right, caught by Sanders. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. So if you're going to have time to allow your big tight end to start on one side of the field and run a crossing route all the way to the other, your big guys up front better hold up in protection. That's exactly what they were able to do here. Gave the quarterback the confidence of staying with him the entire way through, delivering that ball on the far side of the field, and leads to a nice pickup. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. He'll come up now for second down and four. Back to throw, Young. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. You know, it's hard to speculate, Mike. We sit up here and we try to just interpret and assume what's going on in the minds of the players and the minds of the coaches, but... They seem to me to be a little bit rattled. All these negative plays have really started to pile up in the first half. He's got to settle down, have some more efficiency on these early downs, and get his offense into some sort of rhythm. the punter now as he is on to punt for Carolina they will get away from that one and they're going to have tremendous field position this ball hits and goes out of bounds the Bucks offense going to take over here in the final minute of this first half and they're going to hear it from this crowd they're backed up deep as they start first and ten begins with a run by White. And he finds a little bit of space. He'll take this forward for a gain of four. Here's second and six. Mayfield. This one complete to Palmer. And he's going to give him some breathing room past the 15 yard line. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and 10. Baker to throw. To the tight end. Otten with the grab. And he's going to be marked down up around the 33. Here's Baker. Look in middle here, and he's got McMillan. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards.
Second down and three. Throwing is Baker. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. It's 10 to 6. Four seconds still to be played in this half as that one's away. And this one is fielded in the end zone, will not be returned. So it'll come out to the 30. to throw on first down. Gonna look deep. Looking for more. And he's gonna take this one all the way. 70 yards. Touchdown, Carolina. Mike, I'm not sure how else to put it other than this. It's just a complete defensive breakdown. I mean, from where this ball was snapped, you simply have to just defend the end zone. And if they throw it short, come up and rally tackle. If they throw it in the end zone, high point the ball and knock it down, you cannot give up six points to end this half. Pinheiro on for the extra point. And the kick is good. So what a finish to this first half as they extend the lead. All right, Mike, we'll take it from there as we welcome everyone into our EA Sports Studios and our halftime report. We saw a strong first half out of the Alabama man and former number one selection, Bryce Young. He came on after a slow start to fire two second quarter touchdown passes and give his guys the lead at the intermission. These two teams leaving the tunnel and we'll head out with them. It's time to send it back over to Mike Tirico and Greg Olson. Coach, thank you. Back here on EA Sports as we count down to the kickoff of the second half. First half played out a bit as we expected. We'll see if there's a surprise coming up. Both teams set to go in the second half is underway. Stop at the 25. The drive will begin there. The Buccaneers offense and their running back getting ready to go back to work. And really, he has not produced a whole lot of highlights as we thought about coming in that he could be a featured back in this one. Instead, no running lanes, no room to operate, stuck at the line of scrimmage, and generally taking this offense out of its flow. From 25, they'll go to work. First and 10. They motion the slot man left. They feel to throw on first and 10. 
a short one there to Otten. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. on a third down and Mike when you look back at a box score some of the biggest indications of how well the game went of course you don't want to turn the ball over how do you execute in the red zone and then how are you on third down third downs typically lead to long drives long drives tend to lead to points it's not a real complicated formula stay on the field the more snaps the more plays the better and a strong first down run a pickup of Knox setting up second and short in motion on second down Baker they to the right side but it's going to wind up incomplete Jalen McMillan for what he was looking for there and third down coming up based on the routes downfield it looked like the protection was designed to give the quarterback a little bit more time to wait for things to uncover downfield so give credit up front to the defensive line Immediate pressure early speeds up the quarterback's clock. He's got no choice than to get rid of it. Probably a little bit earlier than he would have preferred. That's the second time they connect on this drive. This one good for 13 yards. Whatever they've talked about in the locker room at the halftime break seems to have worked. They've come out with a new established energy. You could see it when they took the field. Now this offense seems to be building on it because with that chunk play, just a little bit of rhythm that they can build off of. They have a long way to go to get back into this game, but so far off to a good start. So, a lot of options on the table now. It's first and five. Mayfield. This one is caught by Shepard. Come to the line now on second and two. To throw is Mayfield. He'll find his running back, White. And he gets run out of bounds. A short pickup, but it's good enough for first down. Second down throw from Mayfield. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver knew what was going on. That's incomplete. in motion from the gun on third down it's Mayfield ever so often like you can see these offenses and it looks like the passing game gets a little bit too predictable and as the defense continues to flood the back end of these zones with extra defenders you're continuing to force this quarterback to not only make some difficult throws 
But they put the ball in harm's way. The Panthers offense and Bryce Young set for their next possession. And he has been in control of this offense. Want to run you through some of the action from earlier on. We've got the two touchdown passes, over 200 passing yards. He has been excellent all game long. The drive begins at the 20. Here's first and 10. Out of the shotgun. Young. That into the hands of Hubbard. And knock him down up beyond the 30. Mike, think back to our conversation during the break. We've kind of both asked ourselves, are they content with this double-digit lead? Do they come out and play conservative here in the second half? Well, it took exactly one play to get our answer. They'll motion over Thielen. On first and ten, here's Young. And he'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. Second and seven. give it's Hubbard and they bring him down but not until he gets the 45 yard line so as we take a look at the box score Mike you realize here they got the lead we're in the second half but they don't have a lot of rush yards it's because they use the passing game to score points and establish the lead now how we judge their run game is from here to the end of the game can they pile up yards now in the second half and close this game out Young to throw on first and ten. He'll throw it left and has his running back. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. Here's second and two. There's a handoff to Hubbard. And he's not going to get away. They'll knock him back to his own territory. They get him on the other side of midfield. The key to great defensive line play is the get-off. When that ball moves, how fast can you get off the ball and get into the backfield? That's exactly what we saw here. Quick read, react, get off the block, take him down for a loss. Uh, nowhere to get away, and he's going to go down. With the right personnel, the safety position is like the ultimate chess piece, right? You can put him in center field to play pass. You can bring him up and make him a pseudo linebacker. But you also can bring him on pressure, Mike. And that's what this guy does so well. The timing and the speed, he got there in a hurry. now is the punt team for the Panthers. And he'll be brought down. Short return. And they'll take over there. The Bucks offense back onto the field for their next possession. The deficit is double digits. So work to do as they begin this drive with first and ten. Here comes Otten in motion. On first down is Mayfield. Oh, a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. It's a pass he say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. Oftentimes, it's the wide open ones that are the hardest to catch. It seems like the ball is in the air 
forever. You start overthinking it. You start really making more of it than what you should, and you let it slip away. Whoa! And he's going to be about a yard short of the first, getting it up to the 36. Really nice job by the interior of this offensive line. It typically just takes one guy to distort the defense to give the back enough room to operate. And that's exactly what they did here. And it led to a big game. They don't need much. It is third and inches. Now the shotgun. Mayfield. And this ball incomplete on third down. Missed opportunities like these are a big reason why they find themselves down double digits here in the third quarter, Mike. Points on this possession could have gone a long way towards making this game competitive, but instead, poor execution, especially in the passing game, and it's another wasted drive. A fair catch signal, and they'll have it just outside their own 20. The home team's offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And he has been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been picked apart. That is borne out in those impressive numbers. He has been terrific all game long. Operating from their own 23, they'll begin first and 10. Moore going in motion. On first down is Young. That's complete to Moore on the right side. And they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. I can't tell you, Mike, how many of these offensive skill players around the league, they look at man coverage as like a personal offense. After that last completion on the way back to the huddle, I think he had a few choice words for him. I think he said, hey, man, you can't guard me one-on-one. -on -one. You better ask your coach for some help, because if he doesn't, you're going to be in for a long day. On play action, Young. He's going to keep it himself. That's another quick first down. That's a 25-yard game. And this is when it just gets very frustrating as a defense, because this is what it's been like all day. The pass rush is good, but just not quite good enough. They let him slip through, and he burns him with big yardage. The motion man is Sanders. On the give, it's Hubbard. Not much happening there, just a short game. Here's second and nine. They send him right out of the slot. On second down, Young. Over the middle, he's got the gap. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. And really nice catch here by Ligat. And these are the weapons that they're trying to continue to surround Bryce Young with. He didn't have a lot to work with his rookie year. And now in comes a first-round draft pick. Big, physical, great with the ball in his hands. Can really go up and compete. It took him a few years at South Carolina to put it all together. But this past season as a senior, second in the SEC in receiving yards with over 1,200. So this is a guy that has big playability, and he's going to be a big part of this Panthers offense going forward. Just take what the defense is giving you, and you can stay ahead of the chains and just take these easy pitch-and-catch throws underneath, hitch routes, quick game, now it puts you in a lot more favorable down and distances to eventually attack this defense a little bit more downfield. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier, and that catch gets him a first down. I love the way the ball's been moving around to different guys this drive, Mike. I mean, it really keeps the defense guessing and off balance. And now this defense is going to have to figure out how to keep this offense out of the end zone because it's first and goal. He'll run with Hubbard. Only a yard there. Tackle made at the five. Here comes second and goal. A 
second down throw for Young. And that one is incomplete. Penalty flag down back in the backfield in the area of holding. From a little further back, here's second and goal. They're going to run right over center with Hunter. These are tough situations. You want to stay out of second and real long. You figure it's going to be a pass, but this is a nice changeup by the play caller. He keeps the ball on the ground, picks up a good game, and now this third down got a whole lot more manageable. Third and goal. Here's the pistol snap to Young. And he will take this one across into the end zone. Bryce Young, touchdown Carolina. The defense comes up with the coverage, but they cannot keep up with the speed as the quarterback scrambles to the end zone for the touchdown. And down here in the red zone, Mike, is where I think a quarterback's legs can be the most dangerous. The defenders are trying to match backs, match tight ends and receivers, but often it's the quarterback that has no one assigned to him, and in this case, he's able to capitalize and run it in himself. Now, Pinheiro to add on the extra point. The kick is good, and the Panthers will extend this third quarter lead. So now, after the touchdown, Pinheiro out to kick it away. To return is Tucker. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The visitors' offense ready to take over possession of the football. And they are still searching for that first touchdown of the game. Greg, this defense that they are going against has been like a brick wall. And especially this front seven. And listen, Mike, we all know this is a passing league. But what you want to do is you want to at least be unpredictable on offense, meaning you want to be in what they call 50-50 downs. I got an equal opportunity to both run or pass based on the down and distance. When you have nothing to show for on first and second down on the ground, you find yourself in must-pass scenarios, and you're playing right into the hands of the defense. Here's first and ten. From the gun, it's Mayfield. He'll get this one to his safety valve, complete. And he'll get it up four here as he is taken down. Baker going to hand it to White. He will be taken down. A big pickup on what will be the final play of this third quarter. So, three quarters have come and gone. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. the 35 it's first and 10 Mayfield to throw here's a second and nine Mayfield. They'll set up the screen to White. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five.
He'll come up to third and three. That's Palmer, the man in motion. They'll throw here on third and short. And this is going to be incomplete. That is great work there, making things difficult defensively. It'll set up a fourth down. Sometimes it's those footsteps. I don't care how long you've been playing or at what level you've been playing at. And that defender's bearing down. You really get a good idea of what guys are willing to go through contact to secure a catch. And in this case, what guys are unwilling. And when you find yourself down double digits, you don't want to make habit of settling for these field goals. It does allow them to chip away a little bit and cut into this deficit, but they've got to find a way to score touchdowns. McLaughlin hit the field goal a moment ago, and now he's back to kick this away. On the return, here comes Blackshear. And he'll be set up well as he is past the 35-yard line. The home team's offense getting their final instruction before heading back onto the field. As we look back at some of the highlights of this one, you'll see a lot of them, Greg, coming from the passing game. They've done a nice job picking the defense apart. Yeah, and I think that's the right way to say it. It hasn't necessarily been just a bunch of deep shots, a bunch of explosives. It's been more methodical. It's been precise. They've really been all over their execution, and this is about as close to a complete performance as you're going to see from any offense throughout the course of this season. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. The motion man is Sanders. Young to throw on first down. A short one there, caught by Tremble. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. They face second down and seven. Shotgun snap, and they'll run. Here's Hubbard. And they'll bring him down just shy of midfield, but that is enough. It's a first down. They'll go again with Hubbard. And this time, they are ready for him. He'll be thrown for a loss. No big gain that carry. It's second down. Some defensive ends specialize in getting after the quarterback. Some defensive ends specialize in run game. This guy can really make an impact on both, as we saw here for that tackle for loss. Throwing on second down, Young. That one complete to Lee Get. We'll get about six before he's taken down. Here's third and seven. To throw, Young. To set up the screen here to Hubbard. And that call will not get it done. The defense ready, stopping him behind the line of scrimmage. It sets up fourth down. Well, when you call a screen play, of course, you're looking to catch the defense off guard and pick up a chunk play. You're not thinking you're actually going to find yourself going backwards, but that's exactly the case here. And really nice job by the defense sniffing that one out. Hunting time for the Panthers. Set to kick this one away. As they try to play the field position game here, protecting a fourth quarter lead. Visitors offense and their running back getting set for this next possession. And it's hard to believe you can run the ball a whole lot better than he has. The vision, the cutback ability, the acceleration, the stats. It has all been on display throughout. They'll 
stick to the ground. And he'll take this forward for about three. It's second down. Here comes Otten in motion. Throwing on second down, Mayfield. Checking it down, this one is caught. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. Nice play here by Rashad White. I'll tell you, I had a chance to call one of his games late last year. And what really stands out is he is very comfortable when being used in the passing game. Finished last year fourth amongst all NFL running backs, finishing with 64 receptions. Look in the middle here, and he's got McMillan. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Here's a second and three fourth come. Throwing is Mayfield. That's thrown right side, but incomplete. Can't exactly put my finger on it, but it just seems like this entire game, like this passing game and this quarterback specifically, they've just been off. And whether it's missing these big shots downfield like he did there, or just simple underneath layups, there's just something about him today that doesn't look right. And I think it's a big part of the reason they find themselves trailing here in the fourth quarter. Trying to find some seam out there, but he will not. They get him behind the line, and fourth down is coming up. Anytime it's third and short, you better account for the running back out of the backfield, and that's exactly what they do here. Great job by the defense taking him down for a loss. Brings up fourth down. Trailing late, they've got to go here. It's fourth down. They'll go. Mayfield. That's taken in. And he's going to have a Bucks first down. They'll have it by a lot. It turns out to be a big gainer on fourth down. Some teams just have a stronger appetite for being willing to go for fourth down tries. Even on their side of the field, Mike, and we're seeing it so much more often, the days of just pumping the ball back and forth and saying, hey, we're going to play good defense. Remember, the better your defense, that doesn't mean you should punt. The better your defense, the more chances you should take on offense. Second down, Baker. A throw right side. Going to be taken in by McMillan. And they will take him down at the 20-yard line. It's been tough sledding for this offense all day today, Mike, but especially here in the second half. So they are just in desperate need of a spark. Just something to get their offense into a little bit of a rhythm if they want to have any chance to find themselves back into this game here late. Here comes Otten in motion. On first and ten, here's Baker. He's got it at the seven. And the Buccaneers are going to be looking at a first and goal. They move it down to the four. And this is what the offense needed. Now, after that last completion, you still trail here in the fourth quarter. You need scores, and you need scores fast. So they cannot take their time. I wouldn't be surprised to get them right back up on the line of scrimmage and try to score here now that it's first and goal. They'll run with White. And he's going to be stopped just short of the goal line. Couldn't reach that ball across, setting up second and goal. And a little closer. Here's second and goal. This is caught toward the side of the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. 
So they get the touchdown, and now it is a nine-point game. Greg, you can go for one and make it a one-possession game. Or some people think about going for two here. What would you do? I think I'm going for two, Mike. Listen, the way you have to look at it is I need a two-point conversion at some point. But I want to know now, am I down truly two scores, or am I able to get it down to seven and truly make it a one score? So I'm going for two now, and I want to know what the rest of this game looks like. How many possessions do I need? a one-score game as they kick it away. From the six, here comes a return. They finally get him down, but he gets all the way up close to the 40-yard line. The Panthers offense ready to get back at him. The advantage is eight. We'll see if they can make this a two-score game on this drive. First down and ten. begins with a run by Hubbard and that'll be a pickup of three Tremble comes in motion. And the back judge throws the flag. He looks at the ball, looks at the clock. Clock says zero. That's a delay a game. Slot man in motion left. And some problems communicating on third down, and that's going to be a delay. So after the five yards are walked off, they face third and long. From the gun, it's Young. He's got his man. That's weak out. And he's going to be taken down. And that will take us to the two-minute warning. So they come to the line for first down and ten. A give up the middle. It's covered. And he'll get that to midfield, so no gain on that one. We'll try again. It's second and ten. Another run here with Hubbard. And quickly, the clock stops again. Defense taking the timeout. A buck 54 to go.
it is third and ten. They'll drop to throw. He'll try to run for it. The Buccaneers forced to use their third and final timeout. They'll be disappointed there after giving up the first down. Converted twice on third down already on this drive. Now can they do it for a third time? Victory formation here as he's down to a knee. It's a win for the Panthers. They proved much the best in this one. Get a solid performance in all three phases of the game and ride that to victory.